Nigerian army has repaired an attack by the Islamic State of West African Province, Hiswap, on surrounded Boko Haram members and their families. This was reviewed in a statement released on Sunday and signed by Director Army Public Relations Brigadier General Onyema Wachuku, who said the terrorists made a fruitless attempt to assess the facility housing the surrounded Boko Haram members, but retreated when confronted with the superior firepower of Nigerian troops. Mwachiku affirmed that the latest strategy is not unconnected with the frustration of the group as top-ranking commanders and members denounce violent agitation to embrace peace in recent times. The Islamic State of West African Province, Iswab, confronted with the obvious reality of defeat, embarked on a desperate move to undermine the unprecedented depletion in its fighting force have resorted to attack on surrounded Boko Haram members and their families. This antics of terror within terror is being employed by ISWAP to discourage intending surrounding terrorists in their ranks. The latest strategy is not unconnected with the frustration of the group as top-ranking commanders and members denounce violent agitation to embrace peace in recent times. This palpable apprehension might have led ISWAP on Saturday, October, 2nd October 2021, to embark on a mission to capture BHTs who surrounded in Dambwa, the gallant troops of 25 Tax Force Brigade Operation Hadekia, whose superior firepower forced the terrorists to withdraw in Desiree, and short Dubwa, Dambwa, pardon, did not fall to their antics. The terrorists made fruitless attempt to assess the facility housing the surrounded BHT members, okay, but retreated when confronted with the superior firepower of one troops of own troops. He assured the people of Dambwa and its environs that the troop would proactively continue to provide security in the areas. The Nigerian army which is to ensure the good people of Dambwa and Everons to go about their normal businesses as vigilante troops would proactively continue to provide security of lives and property. The general public are also enjoyed to provide actionable and timely information on the activities of these criminal elements and their collaborators. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yahaya, while commending troops for their dogging charged them to take the fight to the terrorist enclaves to deny them freedom of action. He also reassured them of requisite support as they recall more operational gains in Operation Harikia, he stated. <laughs> oh my God. So, Nigerian Army is now fighting Iswap to protect Boko Haram. They say one that's an never cease to end. So they are now protecting repentant Boko Haram more than the ordinary civilian. Repentant Boko Haram enjoying more safety than ordinary civilian. <laughs> this will not be juju. <laughs> not one person not go see for this country. If this Nigerian army, you know, are using the same strength. They are not using to protect the Boko Haram, repented Boko Haram or whatever they are calling themselves. You know, on Nigerian citizens. I don't think people will still be dying, you know, in the hands of this uh, Iswap and Boko Haram terrorist bandits, whatever, terrorizing people. If they can use this strength now they used, you see, these people actually, you know, stand and fought these people. And they have to retreat. When they are protecting repentant Boko Haram. Anyway, guys, let's hear what Nigerians have to say. Someone said, hmm, lies every day. We are tired. Do not be surprised, though. There is one estate in Niger State where Boko Haram are living inside. Meanwhile, Nigerians army is guiding them as an security gatesman. Hey, 
Imagine protecting some people that we are killing Nigerian soldiers. One day we will wake up to the news that Repentant Boko Haram attacked Nigerian army, probably not providing adequate security for them. I love in Sae, but they can't provide prevent attacks on innocent citizens. That is my point. They can't do that. But the question is why? Honestly, this is funny, but it's not laughable. What is happening in this country is really funny. It's like drama. But it's not laughable. It's worrisome. It's disturbing. <laughs> this is really worrisome. How can these people that you are not protected, people that have killed thousands of Nigerians, displaced millions of Nigerians, people are suffering for their sake just because of them. People does not have a home of their own. People are going hunger today because of these people. They can't even go to their farms any longer. But the way Nigeria government is actually taking these people matter so special, I don't get it. Even people they have caused havoc, even people they they, uh, they, they that lost their loved ones during this attack and nothing nothing left again to hold on. The Nigerian government are not even saying anything about those people. They don't care. But treating these people so special is really very, very questionable. What's up? What is going on? Nigerians have been asking this question. But till now, we've not still gotten the answer. Why this special care about this to these people? Why this special care? Why this special care? Most of them, they've sent them abroad. They are, some of them are still receiving fat salaries. They are enjoying themselves. But people that have made life horrible, they are suffering. You can't even count, you know, numbers of IDP camps in Nigeria in the northern part of this country. Anyway, guys, make a drop out for you. You've all heard it now. Let's hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share with us below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to this channel, please, if you have not. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Bye for now.